I want Pastor Kevin or Tiz to come up here quickly, if you would, please. And uh, he passes down in Hollingen, Texas, a graduate here. I mean, he works here at the ministry, his wife and everything. And they got a great church down in Texas. And he has a great platform that he's built because his dad was major in broadcasting, his brother, everything. Dad had thousands of TV stations that the Lord put in his hands. And he went around and gave them to pastors. So he has an anointing for television, radio, broadcast platform, but he's developed what I believe is cutting edge, and he wants to put ministers on. He said, the only thing you have to have is anointing. If you have an anointing and you speak the truth, the word of God, he'll put you on. If you don't have an anointing, you speak nonsense, you're not coming on. It doesn't matter who you are, you can have whatever podcast. So tell him about it and how tomorrow we're going to put a table for him for, and you can meet with him before and after the service tomorrow. And if there's any message, he puts you on for free. It's all for free and it's a worldwide platform. Tell him. Praise God. Uh, my, my name is Kevin Ortiz. I pastor Faith is God Church. Uh, 2001. Uh, Pastor Rodney asked me to come and be part of the ministry as they just moved into this building, and I had the pleasure of being able to build the TV ministry. Uh, my father had passed away the year before, and I was actually kind of seeking God for the direction for my life. And while I was here, I started recognizing that what I was doing was not just something that I did, that God had anointed me to do th what uh, the, media, the media ministry uh, that year in 2002 of January, I was part of one of the greatest revivals I ever experienced here at this church as we broadcast around the world live. And I really believe that was a response by heaven for some of the pain that the, the world was going through because of 9-11. And I thank God for being a part of that. In 2017, I was attending the, the minister's conference here. And the Lord had been speaking to me about doing something that has never been done before. And while me and my wife were sitting in the second row, Pastor Rodney called me and my wife out, laid hands on us, and gave us a prophetic word. He said that God is going to do something through you that has never been done before. And I wanted to shout out to him, I know, I just don't know what it is, but I know I'm going to do it. <laughs> but the Lord has always um, put in my heart to lift up the men and women of God so that they could preach the gospel. In, in a greater way to get the word out and farther, uh, let the voice be carried in farther uh, territories. And so God put this in my heart of, of building an app that is not controlled by the world, but it's in the hands of anointed men and women of God. It's called Jesus Pod. It's a total media app. If I, I, I encourage you guys, if you can take out your phone, go to jesuspod.com and download the app. You'll see a link there, whether you're using an Android or... or so it's not done through Apple or anything? It, it's on Apple, and okay. it's also... But if they take it down, you still, it's in the we are, we are We are creating a website that will uh, eliminate... It will only give them the power to shut us down. I understand. But it's an app for your Android or your Apple phone, and it's a total media app. It has uh, podcasts that are spirit-filled podcasts from around the world, categorized in different categories from sermons to um, leadership to women to family. And they're all spirit-filled, anointed men and women of God, radio stations from around the world, uh, video from around the world, different ministries all put on there, books, many books, and it's a, an incredible infrastructure. It's all free. It's all free. It's the only cost to be on the app is if you're anointed, and it doesn't cost anything for the user as well. This is our mission. This is my mission that God has given me. I want now, to also... some people come to me with platforms like that before, and I couldn't join in. I said, because everything I give, I give away, and you're charging subscriptions. I, I'm not doing that. I can't. I can't give everything away and then pay a subscription. I just can't. I can't do it. It's against everything I preach. So what you have... Is what I preach. So. And it's actually, a, a lot of this was actually worked out back in 2001 when I came. We would spend a lot of time speaking about the future of the television ministry, and I would always be encouraged by God to, to 
to speak to Pastor Ronnie about the anointing will make a way. The anointing will open up doors. Don't, don't, let's not try to pry the doors open because we're wanting to hear the heart of the Lord. And that's just something that God put inside my heart. I believe you're anointed. God will provide one way or the other, and God will make a way. And so Jesus Pod is going to be put in many different languages. Uh, this right now, it's, it's in English, and it's also, we have some programming in Spanish. I'm making a Spanish version of Jesus Pod. But if you're anointed man or woman What's of God. What's going to be called in Spanish? The app. Everything's going to be under Jesus Pod. It will just know, be in Espanol. What's the Spanish version? It'll be in Espanol. Just Jesus Pod. Yeah. Pod. What does Pod mean in Spanish? I have no idea. <laughs> Pod? <laughs> there, there's no translation. <laughs> it's like wow. Tra- it's like translating wow, wow. <laughs> Praise God. Um, but there's going to be mo- multiple languages. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Amen. And our, our whole desire is to carry the anointing to, so really to make the gospel like water. If you're thirsty, you could drink. And there's a lot of ministries that they carry a word. They just don't know how to get it out. Uh, the world is really good at synergizing and working together. The church is we spend more money in medias than any entity on earth. But we all work separately. We're all building our own unique kingdom. There's not one place where you can just find everything. If I, go to, um, if I go to Apple Podcasts and I try to find a good spirit-filled uh, podcast that builds up my faith, I'll find a bunch of witches put in with the churches. And it shouldn't be that way. We should have a platform where everything you know there is anointed by heaven. It has a voice of heaven. And that's Jesus part. So what if you get like a wacky preacher with goofy doctrine and just no anointing, just a bunch of words? What do you do with that? I am, um, I have the power of delete. Oh. (laughs) But now, so what? I mean, they would be offended that you wouldn't put them on the Jesus part, which is free. I also have the power of blocking on the phone. Okay. So let me ask a question. (laughs) So would that, if you refuse them, that would mean they need to go back and check their doctrine and actually come and spend more time around the river getting the anointing and then try their podcast one more time? Amen. You know, they could be rehabilitated, you know? I think all of us go through some seasons like that, but yes, praise the Lord. And, and I, I tell you, we are actually, I just want to encourage you guys, you're an oasis. You are here being refreshed, being refilled, and God is imparting special, unique anointings upon your life. You know, you don't know, but you're going to see an experience when you get home. I, I just want to share something with you. When I was here, I was serving in the, in the media ministry, and literally I would be the, one of the first ones here and one of the last ones would leave uh, and I'd spent all my time that way. A um, lot of sacrifice. And I was, you know, God's, God's good. Well, carry but, on. You, you're not finished yet. But I remember, I remember one day I went to Pastor Eric. And I said this. I was worried. I said, Pastor, I don't know the last time I experienced the anointing because I was here and I was working and serving. Excuse me. And he was like Martha incumbent about when not serving. And Pastor Eric gave me a word. He said, because I came for one thing, the anointing. That's all I came for. I knew the word. I grew up in the ministry. My dad was a mighty apostle. I, I saw everything. I experienced every type of service. But I came searching for the anointing. And um, Pastor Eric told me, he said, Kevin, you think you didn't get it. But when you go home, you're going to see you got it. And it's just like that. So I give God praise for y'all's lives, this ministry's life. And uh, I thank God for the work of the Lord that he's done in my life. Uh, I'm here I to mean, serve. We basically kept him uh, like a Mexican, Spanish, <laughs> Puerto Rican slave working around the world. He was actually the only person that could do it. There was nobody else. And we started broadcasting live on satellite across Asia to 100 million homes. 
And that was with the satellite dish that his brother sent us. I mean, all kinds of stuff that took place. So yeah. obviously, if there's only got one person who knows how to operate everything, then they're just working. And that's why I've told everybody in the ministry, no matter what department you're in, you actually are part of it and the anointing's actually coming on you. You don't realize it. And you have to realize that you are serving and you're part of the hands and feet of the ministry and you're part of the amplification of the message to a lost and dying world. So when he got away from me, then he realized, oh, wow. Yeah. I got it. Can, can I share your testimony? Yeah, yeah of that? course. I've got you. You have the microphone. <laughs> of course you can share. Uh, we actually started our first TV program. It was a Thursday night program, and I created one of the greatest intros that has ever been created for a ministry. Uh, I don't think Pastor liked it too much, but I loved it because it showed people under the power of God, like literally falling and flying everywhere. And I put special effects on his voice and everything, amplified it, you know, uh, this is that. And you see a person just flying because... It was, it was just powerful, and I put a bunch of fire on it. I mean, I thought it was one of the greatest intros ever. Which, actually, in fact, in retrospect, it probably was. I just wasn't ready for that. No, because I, I, actually, didn't, no, because I actually didn't want to be on TV. I never wanted to be on TV. I didn't even like TV. It wasn't until Bob DeAndre came to me and put me on television. Unfortunately, you weren't there at the time. Otherwise, I would have said, hey, put some stuff on them. We might still have some of the first intros you did on Arca, but it would take a while to find Yeah, that. but I, we put it on the air, and I put a phone number on there, and we didn't have a call center. So I'm the only one who knows that it's going on the air on that Thursday night, so I show up here, and I'm ready to answer phone calls, and it, so, it shows a bunch, half hour of just people being slain in the spirit. And so the first phone call was a woman, now I'm, I grew up in faith, but I didn't grow up in like the supernatural manifestations of the glory of God that we experience so freely here at this church. And, but I, I'm a faith guy, I just believe God. And so the first phone call was a couple and they said, we want that, that's what they asked, we want that, we want that fire. And so I taught, you know, we walk by faith. If, I, if they're calling me, that means the anointing that's on Pastor Rodney is upon me. So I said, okay, I'm Pastor Rodney right now. <laughs> and so I got on the phone. I said, okay, are you all ready? Yes. Okay, get ready. The power of God's going to hit you. In the name of Jesus, fire! I just heard the phone drop. And the couple hit the floor and screaming on the other line. <laughs> Impartation. So, so, so let me just say this, you know, you, you were, I was preaching a message and you, God was raising you up, but I wasn't ready for what God was raising up. And the reason, I'm telling you why I didn't like it, because we were so being attacked. Are you with me? So I felt that I had to put out the theology behind the message so that people would realize that we were not lunatic. No, no, seriously. Now, that to me would be even more. So maybe I need to get you to develop some whatever and we just put it out. And Because I actually don't care right now. We actually got a ministry. No, listen, we have a ministry in Germany and you see all the clips of the meetings. He's, he asked me, can I have the permission to put, to, I said, whatever you want to do. And he's putting all of it, it's going viral everywhere. Of course, the attack is huge, you blink and blank, whatever, you false prophet, you whatever. I don't actually care anymore. So I just say, yeah, you go ahead and do it, it's not a problem. So what I'm trying to say to you, you can, that's what I'm trying to tell pastors, you can preach something, and that's what always happens, but people are not ready for what comes up. So, you, you know, what you preach that can be communicated and imparted will come. And again, I'm so happy that as long as the doctrine's correct and that there's an anointing, that's the key right there, which 
A lot of people do goofy stuff without annoying them. So obviously we've got the critics that take all the manifestation of their footage, then they put rock music behind it or grunge music behind it and then make it out. So then it just looks like a bunch. You know what I mean? You don't get the atmosphere. They alter it, they doctor it, and that's what they're doing. That's why with some things I've not put out because it's holy. You understand what I'm saying? So, so there's also that side of the whole thing. But whatever we, we do. So, hey, time is short. We're going to reach the last. I tell you, you know, I, I, I've got to see all the different generations of Christian media since my father was used mightily by God to start bringing it uh, to pass. In, and what I believe that actually destroyed uh, Christian television was when they pulled the power of God. We used to be able to turn on the TV and hear an anointed man or woman of God and be healed and receive refreshment and be encouraged. I, I grew up in, when I was in high school, turning on the TV, knowing, knowing that no matter what happened, I could turn on the TV at a certain time and there would be an anointed man of God that would be looking at that camera and saying, put your hands, let's pray, let's bring it before heaven and God would heal me and touch me. And I just encourage you guys to continue to walk in the power, walk in the presence of God, heal those that are hurting, preach the gospel without any reservations, and use all the tools available. Use the medias, get the word out. God has anointed you for such a time as this. And okay, so actual fact, that's what we're doing with our network, is we just take the service in its entirety and just loop it with everything, the worship, the teaching, everything it just keeps looping. 24 hours a day. So there's no half hour program in the thing. Because people say, well, I'd like to put you on the air. We've got an hour. I said, I don't do hour services. So pick out which part of the hour do you want. What do you want? The worship? What do you want? The teaching on giving? What do you want? The preaching of the word? What do you want? Altar calls? What do you want me just laying hands on the, on the sick, you know? So, because it's the word, it's the word and the spirit combined that get the job done. It's not one without the other. So, but anyway, great job you're doing. Thank you. So please download the at jesuspod.com and I'll be here uh, before services and after services to talk to you. I really would like to, if you're from a different nation, I'd like to talk to you about how we could get it in your language to your nation and even give you guys uh, a part in, the, in this ministry. How many, how many are interested in putting something out? Okay. Right. But it has to have an anointing. Yeah. So don't get upset with him if he blocks you. <laughs> no, just remember it's a sign. Meow. <laughs> Just remember, it's a sign. Basically, what you should do is anybody who applies to thing, if you don't agree, just, just go, meow, and they'll understand what that means. Because <laughs> that's a code word for, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Meow. If they, get, if they get like five meows, then you oh, know they're really bad. <laughs> then, then it's going to take three years of River University, and then thing and then maybe they'll get on. Thank you, I love you. love you. Give a love to your wife. <laughs>